Welcome all once again in this video lecture related to tenders and contract. In this third part of the video, myself Vidula Ranjit Vaskar Patil from Department of Civil, KITS College of Engineering, Kolapur. In this third part, we would be discussing content related to the contract, types of contracts, essentials of legal valid contract, contract between engineers and employers, contract between employers and the contractor, category of contractor, award of job and termination of contract. So you will see what is contract. We have already seen in the uh, first video that the contract is promised between two parties who enters into the legal agreement under the rules provided by Indian Contract Act, wherein we form and draft which is becomes legal binding to the contractor and which is enforced by the law uh, by for the two parties. So here in the first type we have seen various types of contracts. Okay, so it can be lump sum contract. Uh, we have seen the uh, fixed price contract and item rate contract. That is, the contractor will quote their amount in the bill of quantity separately. In the first category, the total cost of project is mentioned in the lump sum contract. The contract has to agree on the percentage what up and down it has to work. Cost plus contract. The contractor reimburses for the project cost plus some uh, profit on it. So, cost of the project is 10 lakh, so profit they can ask uh, around 1 lakh. So, that is cost plus contract. Time and material contract. So, this contract is uh, related to the total time period required for completion of the project along with the material they use. So, so, material here is given by the contractors. The next is design and build contract type. So, here in design and build contract type, the contractor design their whole project okay they don't get drawings the contractor has to design build and uh, hand over the project next is turnkey con contract the turnkey contract the whole project responsibility from making the contract uh, or finalizing the tender preparing the drawing execution of the work legal formalities everything is done by that turnkey co contractor the joint venture contract if the contract is big the project is big, one party is not capable of working into it. So, your two party with the joint venture can complete this project. Okay. Framework agreement. If the period of work and under this uh, uh, project, many projects has to be small, small project has to be worked. So, in the framework contract, once only the tendering pr process has been conducted and till the project gets it's a long term contract so that's why it is called as frame of contact for various projects now the sec next part of the contract that is essentials of legal valid contract the contract must be in written after finalizing the the contract should be in written format signed by the both the parties sometimes witnesses and notarization is also required how the offer should be the offer given by the employer should be valid it should be executable okay and for the proper cause of proper pur uh, purpose and there should be proper acceptance by the other party then only it is said proper agree, proper offer proper acceptance this is again another second most requirement of legal valid contract intention of the contract related to legal re re relationship this contract should not be there for some mis, uh, uh, misrepresentation or doing fraud. So, it should be on legal val, uh, binding agreement. Okay. This contract should be against some consideration. When one party do its work, in exchange he should get some uh, uh, written. So, in terms of money, goods, services or promise. The capacity of the contract. So, he should be a legal entity. No minors are allowed to uh, execute this contract. He can execute but with some guarantee or some uh, person on his reference can do. That person should be legally, uh, he should have a legal ability. Okay, It should be done by the sound mind people and it should not be done under any influence of drug or alcohol. The consent of the party should be free. It should not be under some influence, under some misrepresentation or by mistake. 
there should be lawful object the purpose of this execution of project should be lawful okay it should not be to refrain some person against doing some work which is illegal in the act of law so it should be the lawful object and lawful purpose uh, certain and possible performance so the work what is to be done should be mentioned clear it should be certain that this much amount of work need to be done okay so it should be clear whatever the object of this uh, contract is to be done so these are the basically essentials of legal valid contract next we will see contract now between whom this contract happens so this contracts happen generally between engineer and the employer that is the owner so an engineer and owner uh, contract the scope of the service of this engineer has to be mentioned responsibility of the engineers has to be mentioned responsibility of employer that when he he will pay or what are his uh, clauses that what facility he will give to this engineer that need to be mentioned payment terms confidentiality if the project is confidential how how he has to mention this uh, uh, confidential maintain this confidentiality if it is intellectual property how it is to be executed if there is dispute between engineer and employer how it is to be resolved and when this last clause is that when how this contract will come to an end that is termination clause so this this things are mentioned in the contract between engineer and employer and the next contract that we have seen this tendering process up till now this is between employer and contract wherein scope of work is mentioned responsibility of contract is mentioned in the general condition this responsibility of employer is mentioned in the general condition payment terms is to be mentioned project schedule is to be mentioned quality assurance this everything need to be mentioned in the general condition and special condition of the contract health and safety dispute resolution that is arbitration how is to be conducted and after execution of this project or in between how this contract comes to an end that clause termination clause is mentioned between contract between employer and the contractor now the another uh, thing in this contract that is category of the contractors how they are uh, differentiated so this category is mentioned in as super class wherein the amount of work is not mentioned class a not exceeding 2 crores of rupees so this category of contractor is been classified again according to the work that is civil electrical plumbing mechanical according to the project now whatever this figures are mentioned here it is according to the pwd department okay they issue the license to the contractor on this basis that how much work they have completed in the class super class we have seen the unlimited amount is mentioned class a not exceeding 2 crore uh, rupees work class b not exceeding 50 lakhs rupees work class c not they have not executed work beyond 20 lakh class d not exceeding um, the work beyond 10 lakh so these are the con uh, category of contractors now award of the contract after the selection process notification of award is done negotiation and signing of the project is done mobilization and commencement of the contractors team on site is done before execution or commencement of work or execute starting of the site project kick off meeting where an introduction to the all the team members project is done so this how the award of contract procedure is been executed and the last that is termination of contract how the contract comes to an end the contracts come to an end by cause the first cause can be breach of contract wherein contractor fails to perform the contract or delays in the contract then the contract can come to an end failure of comply with safety and legal requirement if the contractor is complying the work but he is failing to fail uh, do the safety and legal requirement then also this contract can come to an end this contract can be come to an end by convenience also if one or both the party they mutually decide that we want to stop this work they can come to an end and terminate the contract without cause but ad adherence 
there no cause is there but d want to stop it okay uh, which related to the terms of uh, contract then it comes to an end after completion of the project the termination of contract happens so these are the clause related to termination the procedure the whenever the uh, contract need to be terminated is notice to be given to the other party okay it should come into the notice of other party only he has to not to stop his work he has to give a notice related to termination then the response period he has to see what is the response of the other party the account need to be settled after settlement of the account whatever the things has to be hand over that is site clearance the uh, contractor has to take all his equipments materials labors from the site that is called as demobilization hand over the, all the document which are related to that product to the uh, other party and the post termination review that why it has came to an end and how everything has been closed according to the no, uh, contract procedure so this is termination procedure so any query regarding uh, to the contract proceeding you can ask me here thank you